First at 5.30, as many schools in the area have had to close down their campuses at certain points because of COVID-19, Bryant University kept their campus open. Good evening. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Kim Kalunian. Bryant's new president did everything he could to make sure that was possible so students could continue to learn in person. 12 News reporter Kate Walsh spoke with Dr. Ross Gattel in his first sit-down TV interview here in Rhode Island about how he was able to do that. If you remember in the summer, I sat down with outgoing Bryant University President Ron Makeley with a look back at his lengthy career. So I checked in with his successor, Dr. Ross Gattel, on how this unique start to his career there has been going. Many of the lessons learned in college aren't from a textbook or a lecture hall. And that's especially true this year at Bryant University. We were honest. We were honest with students that this is going to be really difficult. Dr. Ross Gattel couldn't have imagined this was what his first semester as president would look like, but his goal for the university is unwavering. The real focus is something pretty simple that Brian's been doing for a long time. The focus is on what do we need to do to make sure our graduates are successful and strong contributors to society. Dr. Gattel has tapped into his decades of experience in the world of business and most recently as chancellor of the Community College System of New Hampshire to succeed this semester. Of the utmost importance to him, having students learn in person and living on campus. Integrate uh, the strong academic programming and quality of our teaching uh, with the uh, on-campus experience, uh, the student advising, the clubs, the uh, the recreation. It's really mind, body, spirit. So under his guidance, the school started earlier than usual in August, so they could end earlier before Thanksgiving break. They also had Saturday classes to make the abbreviated schedule work. Gattel said they've invested $7 million this academic year in COVID testing. Students and staff were tested weekly, some more frequently than that. Bryant reported a positivity rate of 0.12% of the 60,000 surveillance tests taken this semester. Gattel pointed out that Bryant's rural setting and single point of entry did make it easier than other higher ed institutions to contain the spread of the virus. But he said students were still doubtful they'd last all semester without going remote. He was still there in shorts, and I said, well, you soon you're going to have to put on the longer pants. It's getting cold. I said, I'm going to have to, you know, go home to pick up more clothes. I never expected to stay open this long. The pandemic has surely hit families' wallets, potentially making it more difficult in the future to afford college. So I asked President Gattel how he would make Bryant more affordable. He said by showing that their education guarantees a high return on the investment with graduates landing successful jobs post-graduation. I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.